I know you shouldn't play favourites, but this is a definite contender for my favourite rum cocktail of all time. Invented by Audrey Saunders in 2001, it's like the love child of a mojito and a French 75, and if that's not a good time, then I don't know what is. The splash of bubbles makes it feel properly decadent and using a good aged rum will add lots of complexity to this refreshing sipper. Although I do like to use something on the lighter end rather than anything too big and funky so it doesn't dominate. Um, so I'm going with Diplomatico Mantuano here which is a little Venezuelan rum. So for this one we're just going to pop some mint leaves actually in the shaker as well as um, do a little mint leaf garnish so kind of around six or so is a good amount. So just gonna go in with 45 mils of rum. It is International Rum Day at the moment, um, so a timely cocktail for that. Perfect amount. Uh, and then about 20 mils of sugar syrup. I'm actually using a little uh, brown sugar syrup here, so it's a little bit um, you know, richer and just gonna, I guess, be a bit more present in the actual final drink. But I find it works quite nicely with the rum but it doesn't matter, just regular sugar syrup is totally fine as well. And then 20 mils of lime juice. And I think one of the things that makes this drink really quite an interesting one is uh, that little dash of Angostura in there. It just really kind of lengthens it out um, and yeah, it just gives it a bit more going on than kind of just your classic um, classic sour. So a good couple of dashes. Now we're gonna be topping up with the sparkling. You don't wanna put your sparkling in your shaker unless you fancy a big explosion everywhere, uh, which would probably get a little bit messy with all the sugar and stuff in there. So that'll just be topped up once we've shaken it. Delicious, and obviously um, you are using a dry sparkling in here that's gonna have a, a good bit of acid as well. Um, so if anything, you kind of want the drink to be maybe very slightly on the sweet side at this point, and then it'll balance out um, once you top it up. And of course, we're definitely gonna double strain because nobody wants little mint leaves in their teeth. That's not particularly glamorous, and this is a very glamorous drink. Oh, the fun sound. So obviously you can measure this, um, you know, it's it's kind of just about a shot or a little bit less of, of champagne. It just wants to play nicely with all the other ingredients. You don't want to um, kind of go overboard. It's not a spritz. And then find yourself the prettiest mint leaf that you can. Give it a little smack over the back of your hand so that you're kind of releasing the aromatics here and then pop it in to flow on your drink. And there we have an old Cuban. Yeah, I just really like it. I think um, obviously having that little like the little pop of the bubbles in there uh, is, is really yummy and does make it feel like quite a celebratory cocktail. Um, but then it is quite a rich drink. Other than that, obviously you've got your kind of your nice rum um, and that kind of woody spice from the bitters. So I think a kind of a bit more of a thinking champagne cocktail as opposed to obviously a lot of the rest are a bit more just kind of spritzy and fun and go down easily on a sunny day. This is definitely all year round. And yeah, just really delicious. So now you know.